Hi, I'm Nathan Sanderson, Executive Director of the South Dakota Retailers Association. South Dakota voters will be faced with seven different ballot measures when they head to the polls this fall. Early voting begins on September 20th, and Election Day is Tuesday, November 5th. Here's what you're going to see. Initiated Measure 28 would prohibit taxes on anything sold for human consumption. While billed as exempting the tax on food, this far-reaching measure would also eliminate the tax on cigarettes, vaping devices, and other items, cutting up to $646 million in state revenues and another $50 million from cities and towns. We'll cover this measure in greater detail in a future message, but the Retailers Association and a coalition of almost 40 other South Dakota groups encourages you to vote no on IM28. Initiative Measure 29 would legalize recreational marijuana, allowing individuals 21 or older to possess, grow, ingest, and distribute it. Driving under the influence of marijuana would remain illegal. Employers could restrict an employee's use of marijuana, and business owners could regulate it on their property. Constitutional Amendment E would update references to certain office holders. Currently, the state constitution refers to governor and other office holders as he or him. Amendment E makes the state constitution gender neutral. Constitutional Amendment F would authorize the state to impose work requirements on certain able-bodied individuals who receive Medicaid benefits. If approved by voters, the work requirement would not go into effect automatically. South Dakota could only add the requirement if allowed by the federal government and it could not be imposed for anyone diagnosed as physically or mentally disabled. Constitutional Amendment G would establish a right to abortion in the state constitution. Amendment G has faced a series of legal actions, and as the Attorney General's statement notes, judicial clarification of the amendment may be necessary. Constitutional Amendment H would establish a new top two primary election system, also known as an open primary. Currently, the Republican and Democratic parties each hold primary elections for several statewide offices. Each party's primary election winners then appear on the November general election ballot. Under Amendment H, all candidates would run against each other in a combined primary, and candidates could list any party next to their name, regardless of party affiliation or registration. The two candidates receiving the most votes would advance to the general election and Referred Law 21 would provide new requirements for regulating linear transmission facilities, allow counties to impose a surcharge on certain pipelines, and establish a Landowner Bill of Rights. The 2024 legislature enacted Senate Bill 201, also known as the Landowner Bill of Rights, in response to disputes over proposed carbon pipelines in the state. The bill sought to provide protections and payments for property owners and counties, and to clarify PUC authority over projects across the state, but does not guarantee that proposed projects will be approved. The measure seeks to repeal this new law, and that's what you'll see on the 2024 November ballot. For more information, visit sdra.org and click on the Advocacy tab.